And now let's shift our focus uh, to Africa. A rare and powerful earthquake has struck Morocco. This is the nation's deadliest earthquake in decades. It was of six point, it, the magnitude was 6.8 on the Richter scale. More than 1,000 people have been killed. Over 1,200 are said to be injured. Entire buildings have collapsed and historical sites have been heavily damaged. As we speak, rescue operations are still underway. Many victims are still missing or stuck in remote mountainous villages. Here's a report. This was the moment when the devastating earthquake hit Morocco. It happened on Friday night. People were woken by the quake. They ran into the streets in terror and disbelief. This video is CCTV footage from Marrakesh, a city of about 800,000, showing the exact moment when the 6.8 magnitude earthquake struck, with its epicenter located 72 kilometers off the city. The house rocked aggressively. Everyone was scared, and I was shocked, and I didn't understand what was happening. I thought it was only my house that was moving because it's fragile and old. I heard people screaming. Everyone went out of their houses. The street is full of people and women screaming. That's what happened. Even now, people can't go back home because they are still afraid because of the last hit. The first hit, we did not feel it. This is the African nation's deadliest earthquake in decades. Over a thousand people have been killed and over 1,200 are injured. Hundreds are in critical condition. Many are still missing or stuck in remote mountainous villages that were hit the hardest. These six provinces were the worst hit. al Haus, Marrakesh, Borzezet. Ezilal, Shishawa, and Terudem. They all house ancient cities. The quake toppled buildings, and walls made from stone and masonry crumbled like a house of cards. They were not designed to withstand such intense shocks. We were harmed in the old city. We were harmed by the earthquake. Everything is by God's will, but we sustained great harm. Residents were harmed and could not get into their houses. There is no way to enter the houses. My parents are ill at home. It is necessary to get help. We cannot continue without water or electricity. Look at the historic Medina. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Now it's surrounded by dust and rubble and has been severely damaged. Search and rescue operations are underway. Rescuers are struggling to get through boulder-strewn roads and making their way to hard-to-reach areas. Moroccan royal forces have been mobilized to provide support. There's been an outpouring of offers of help from several countries. Speaking at the G20 summit in New Delhi, Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi extended his support. Now, Morocco has come to the people of Morocco. I want to give you my hands on my hands. We pray that you will be able to get all the injured people from the injured people. In this difficult time, the whole world has become समुदाय मोरक्को के साथ है और हम उन्हें हर संभव सहायता पहुंचाने के लिए तैयार हैं। Spanish Prime Minister Pedro Sanchez and French President Emmanuel Macron also offered assistance. So far, the Moroccan government has not formally asked for any help. But as Moroccans process the jarring calamity and try to pick up the pieces, they collectively hope that this was the worst of it.